iPhone SE iOS 10.3 public beta 7 review coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys, Nick here from Everything Tech, helping you to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone SE iOS 10.3 beta 7 review so you can see i have the rose gold iphone se here and if i go into the settings department and you see this software update loading ios 10.3 public beta 7 review that's a 1.76 gigabyte update so i have the iphone 5s over here which i also did a public beta 7 review earlier today on the channel go check that out if you're watching this and you got an iphone uh 5s so let me go ahead and close everything out and i'm on 10.2.1 official here for the se so we're gonna go ahead and time the speed here on the 5s with the stopwatch of these applications and then when we get into 10.3 public beta 7 i will do it again to see if it's any faster or slower so let's hit start on both in three two let's go and calendar calculator camera let's go into clock what a rocket over here on the se youtube coming home let's go into appy geek coming home let's go into app store coming home let's go into weather coming home let's go into settings and let's go into Instagram. Let's go into Twitter. And boom. So 20, I, I missed about a second on that tap to there. So about 24 to 26 seconds here on the iPhone SE for the iOS 10.2.1. So with the new file system, let's see if it does get faster here when we go to 10.3 public beta 7. So let me go back into the settings department and let's go ahead and download and install. And I'll be back when this is done doing its thing. This is gonna take a while, so I'm not gonna record the whole thing if you feel me. So I'll be back in just a second on iOS 10.3 public beta 7 for the SE. All right guys, so I'm back in the iPhone SE and that was about 20 minutes to go ahead and do that update. That's because it was 1.76 gigabytes. So if I go into general here, when I go into software update, you can see iOS 10.3 is now installed on my iPhone SE. So you've seen about 26.15 on the last speed test here. Let's go ahead and zoom in one more time and do this again. So let's go ahead and close everything out here and see if there's any difference in performance. You can see it's still blazing quick here. Let's go ahead and reset. Let's hit start and let's go. You can see calendar, calculator, camera, clock, YouTube. Let's go into Appy Geek. Boom, let's go into App Store. Boom, let's go into Weather, Settings, Instagram, and Twitter and should be done. So 25.37, about the same exact performance. Like I say, a second here and there is really nothing. I might have missed the tap a little bit slower on the previous tap, but about the same exact speed here for iPhone SE on iOS 10.3 beta 6. So let's see if we can find any hiccups here throughout the software. You can see nothing wrong there, no glitches, no hangs there. So you can see just fine here if you wanna go ahead and install iOS 10.3 beta 7 for your iPhone SE, I could recommend it. Just make sure you guys go ahead and do a backup before you do it. If you wanna learn how to install the beta, I did a video on how to do that the other day. I will link that down below in the description area of this video. But a quick refresher of the iPhone SE and what comes with beta 7. So there are a few things that come with iOS 10.3 beta 7, and that is, you know, the same features I discussed in my iPhone 5S video, as well as the, you know, the iPhone 6 video, and that's just the Find My AirPods support, Siri support for Cricut scores, and Safari support for reduced motion, as well as some more security features, stronger encryption, the Apple file system, podcast widget, as well as a way for app developers to go ahead and respond to you in the app store so they can respond to you also, there's a new API that makes your SE, you know, not submit, ask you to submit reviews as frequently on your applications and CarPlay improvements as well. 3D touch improvements and weather data, but there is no 3D touch here on the iPhone SE, so that doesn't apply to you. 
But anyway, that's pretty much gonna wrap this one up of the iPhone SE iOS 10.3 review. If you guys wanna see any other videos on this iOS 10.3, let me know. I'm not gonna be creating much more content on the 10.3 until the official releases, maybe a few more betas on the other iPhones, but we're gonna really go in depth into 10.3 when the official drops. This is just, you know, a testing software here, the beta version. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button for me, subscribe to the channel for more technology videos like this. Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.